Food, culture, entertainment are qualities that identify with the Maasai people of Kenya. And these alongside empowerment is what Canon Central and North Africa is bringing into the region and country as a whole. In alignment with the company's core pillars of innovation and diversification, Canon have joined hands with Ishara Mara, a Maasai Mara nature camp in Narok County whose niche is in the high-end luxury to help execute the idea of a print, photo and video experience center to empower the Maasai's and other indigenous locals as a way of giving back to the communities. The grassroots initiative envisions a playing to the strengths of the local Maasai people and their excellent knowledge of the area by placing the power of photography in their hands. Canon was launched officially in African countries in 2016 with the formation of Canon Central and North Africa. When we came to African countries, we came here with an open mindset on a blank page to understand what is the need of an African consumer. I think Ishara means sign. It means sign in Swahili. It means the same thing in Arabic and in quite a few other, uh, like in Hindi, in quite a few other languages. So, you know, in nature, in places like the Mara, you search for signs. When a lion is about to kill, you'll see the signs. When it's about to rain, you'll see signs. If, when there's death about to happen, you'll see signs. You know, right now we're planting the seed. We really want to see that progress. You know, we, we, although we're do, we'll be doing trainings, you know, it'll be good to see those, the group of individuals that progress over time, to follow their success stories, and to watch them even share their knowledge with their peers and friends. I think those type of things will be really cool and to follow that all the way to one day them being a professional photographer or a filmmaker whether it's in wildlife or anthropology so for me I think that that's what I'm really also interested for. The word Miraisha you know is a combination of uh, two words Japanese and uh, Swahili. Mirai in Japanese means uh, future and Maisha which I'm being told in Swahili means livelihood. So the whole purpose of Miraisha program was to promote future livelihood, you know, to the people in Africa. Uh, to give you a little bit more information on the Miraisha program, it's a Canon sustainability program aimed at training up young African youth, primarily between the ages of 18 to 35 years of age, in uh, in the skills with photography, videography, and printing. Um, so they're very much able to go on and create their own future livelihoods from those skills. Uh, we aim to very much empower people that don't have access normally to uh, formalised education or where they just don't have the means in order to actually go and uh, uh, actually attend any schools. Um, and then we also look to supplement those uh, photographers, videographers that are also trying to make their way in the industry um, but are kind of self-taught or are doing it as a hobby. Um, along this way as well. So the program is very much aimed at being able to provide these opportunities to the youth to be able to empower, deliver skill sets, knowledge, uh, which is specifically about the industry, not only here within Kenya, but also about the wider African in industry and also globally. So then they can take all of their learnings and their skills and utilize them for the future to make their own uh, viable career paths within the industry overall. In Ishara, you know, you find a niche kind of a tourist crowd. And this kind of a tourist would like to associate himself or herself with a complete photography experience. So you not only come here and stay at the camp, but you also experience you know, photography through Canon products. This will definitely give a big boost to Canon brand. So I would say that you know, our association is now keeping in mind an engagement with the end users. This, it kind of came from from Pilot and his family. One day, he and some other elders sat me around the fire and I thought I was in trouble. I was like, what have I done now, you know? <laughs> and they actually approached me and they're like, look, you know, we, we really like you as a human being. Um, you know, you, you feel like you're also one of us in a way. And, and it felt really warm from them because they were the ones who came to me and asked me, you know, why don't you think of something like this? It was never in my mind. I would always come here just camping on my car and, you know, seeking beauty in nature. But I actually thought about it deeply then. And, and here I was given the opportunity now to make my love and my passion almost work and what I would do as a living. So I actually studied uh, global development, which, which is very similar to international relations, but my focus was more on like development programs and also 
like indigenous land rights because I found it interesting. But I actually never thought in my whole life that I would end up, you know, actually working with those things and, and dealing with those type of concepts and principles so in real life. So, so that, that for me is, was a great experience. Pilot, as popularly known, has had a long interaction with owners of the Ishara Mara camp and hence welcoming them into their community in an aim of aiding in its economic growth. As uh, local, Maasai locals, Samara, tumesikia, tumesikia msuri sana, tumafrai kitu ya jabu, kwa sababu ni kampu ni ya, ya kwanza hapa Ishara, amemeneji kupata na uh, kupata na Canon na tena Canon venye kwa njia amekuja ametufurahisha sana juu um, immediately wakati wamepata ku, ku, kuingia na katualika kama locals na kakubali kusema uh, atafanya ata, ata kasi na locals tayari Canon wame wamepata wame na this community tayari hata watoto 15 tuko naye hapa hapa kwa kambi ya yeah, watayanda ku train wasichana saba na wafijana nane sasa hiyo kwa side yetu kama Maasai people hapa tumesikia msuri sana sana na tunashukuru sana sana kampuni ya Canon pamoja na kampuni ya Ishara Family venye ameto ame, ame, ame include locals na pia na kwa empower kupatia sisi ngufu watoto yetu anse pia kusamea mambo ya kamera kusamea venye atapika mapicha najua sisi tunaishi na wanyama na tukianza kupata walimu ama wale ambaye anasa ku, ku photograph locals tutakuwa empowerment kubwa sana kwa Community. The collaboration here today between Canon Mirasha and Ishara, um, we are taking a very, uh, let's say, different approach. This is the first time that we're actually doing this because it's something that's quite historical anyways. The first step of the program is to ensure the local Maasai guides get a thorough understanding of the basics of photography along with a comprehensive training on how to use Canon equipment to further enable and empower them to teach guests, photographers, tourists as well as local Maasai people. Besides photography skills, the initiative also looks at encouraging the local community in the area to become content creators and this is by creating content on various topics such as human coexistence with the environment and wildlife, Maasai tribe and culture, wildlife photography, wildlife beauty, protection, preservation and environmental conservation, thus a way of making a livelihood through various social media platforms besides tourism. Uh, through this partnership we're actually aiming to train up uh, the tour guides here within the Masai Mara with imaging skills so they can obviously enhance the experience and the offerings that they have for their guests who they're obviously taking out into the field. In addition to this uh, we are very much looking to empower female training guides. This is one of our area, areas of focus so those already in existence but also to encourage more females to take up this opportunity as tour guides um, and to be able to have this as a, a viable career path and obviously additional skill sets to also support that. Then last but not least, and one of the most exciting parts as well, is actually that we're looking to train up young children uh, between the ages of 8 to 17 here within the uh, Masai Mara and the surrounding communities, actually within photography skills themselves, so that they are able to understand the power of imagery and how they can tell their own stories and share their own stories through photos and videos. So this is something that we're extremely excited for and uh, we can't wait to start. We actually have our first session this afternoon today, um, obviously after the, the camp has launched. Uh, having the community as part of this collaboration and having a focus on them has always been key. And it very much reflects on obviously the, the meaning of Mirasha program, but also Canon's um, philosophy, uh, Canon's corporate philosophy, which is Kyose, which means living and working together for the common good. So this is exactly the practice that we're looking to implement here within the Mara, with all of the activities that we're doing. We want the community to be part of it. We want to be able to empower and share skill sets and knowledge with the community as well. Yeah, yeah, la, la,
So I have been at Masai Mara, specifically the Ishara camp, eh, to run a photography workshop for children who come from the neighboring Maasai communities. Today we come to do in this school about how to use a camera. And how they can tell their own stories and share their own stories through photos and videos. So that in future, I'll be the best photographer. Ndiyo, tukiwa wakubwa ama tukimaliza shule, tuweze kwa educate wenzetu. I was very much excited as a parent watching and being informed. Kwa mambo ya tuare sina sasa, amekuja kurudi wakati wakati COVID amerudi chini. Sasa mambo ya tuare sini akarudi immediately. Ju ilikuwa na watu wengi sana haa kuwa memenage kukujua wakati ya COVID. Sasa saa hii at least siko siko juu kiazi. You know Kenya is a wonderful country. It is one of the few countries in Africa which has a lot of you know uh, tourist sites. A lot of tourists you know visit Kenya and uh, one of the major attractive spots for them is Masai Mara. So when this proposal when this idea came to us that you know one of our partners was planning to open this sort of a camp we actually had some kind of a research on it. And then we found out that because Masai Mara, you know, is at, uh, one of the major attractions for tourists, there are a lot of such camps. But there is, you know, a big difference between the 200 other camps and the Ishara camp, you know, which is, you know, today being inaugurated. And uh, this particular camp is not just interested, you know, in having a lot of tourists or building up the crowd, but it is, you know, targeting limited tourists and then providing them the best experience of their life. And uh, through our partnership, through our association, we want to collaborate so that, you know, the tourist not only enjoys his holidays, but also, you know, remembers it in future also by capturing their moments in form of memories. And what a better thing, you know, to capture it, you know, from the cameras. So this is the reason we selected Kenya and Masai Mara. You know, there is a lot of emotions also involved for Canon and my colleagues, you know, who have been working for this day where, you know, we are establishing our, uh, our experience center. And also, you know, for us, it is a moment of pride when we are, you know, going to associate our brand with, you know, people of Masai Mara, the community of Masai Mara, who are actually helping to protect the wildlife today. Because particularly about Masai Mara, this is not only the home for various species, but also there are certain species which are found only in Masai Mara. So for us, it would be a very proud moment to associate with such kind of people to help in our bit, you know, to make their life better. So what we are planning to do at initial stage is to invite, you know, the tourist guides, you know, from the Masai Mara community because this is a tourism uh, place and give them lessons on photography. Because these tourist guides, these communities, they are the best people who know the land very well, who know the animals very well, and also they know the right spots, you know, where to click the pictures of the tourists. So if we empower them through photography lessons, then, you know, they can show to the tourists the Maasai Mara, the way a Maasai wants to look at it, not the way the tourist wants to look at it. And through this platform, I also want to encourage the women tourist guides, you know, in the Masai Mara community to come forward and be a part of our uh, photography training so that, you know, we can also support and contribute the women empowerment in Masai Mara through our photography. With the tourism and hospitality industries resuming slowly to normalcy, Kenya tourism numbers on earnings and tourism arrivals are slowly picking up fairly compared to the hotel bed occupancy rate as well as on the employment front in the accommodation and food service activities. Now this is a glimpse of hope in these industries in a staggering economy. It's difficult, you know, when you ask a father who is your favorite child. <laughs> But I would like to say that, you know, Canon is known for innovations and uh, the latest uh, 
product in our family is R series. So this is something you know which I am also trying to put my hands on. But again, uh, whatever camera we produced and whatever cameras we are going to provide as an experience to the visitors of Ishara Cam, they are you know very very good, and I am sure that the tourists will love you know experiencing Canon products. So I am very proud to say that 8% uh, of our annual turnover today as Canon is spent on research and development and on you know coming out with new products and technologies and these new products and technologies have a lot to do with what a consumer is requiring or going to require or need in future government you know sector is a very important sector not only in Kenya but you know in rest of the african countries as well so in order to specifically cater to the government vertical we have opened up six local offices in african countries kenya being one of them so if i talk about kenya market then we have around 15 people, you know, Kenyan people who are representing Canon brand and who are working for Canon in Kenya market. Out of these 15 people, there are three people who have the responsibility to establish direct relationship with government verticals. So they are key account managers and their job is to visit government verticals, understand their requirement and, you know, pitching how Canon products can promote efficiency in the government's operations. So, once we establish the relationship, we create some dedicated events, you know, specifically targeting the government verticals and showcasing them that how our products, services and solutions can promote efficiency in their operations. So we are considering, you know, a lot of focus on government vertical because purely speaking from a business point of view, government sector is the number one sector, you know, contributing to our business. Throughout these last six years, we have gained strengths in, you know, distribution network, uh, enhancing our presence in the channel, training, you know, a lot of training providing, you know, to the communities. But now what we realize is that if we want to promote our high range of products, that is our main focus, we need to get a close connect with the end users. For example, if we want to promote our cinema range of pro imaging cameras, then we need to have association and collaborations with filmmakers across the African region. So in this regard, I am proud to say that, you know, we are having collaboration with leading filmmakers in Nollywood, which is, you know, the third biggest filmmaking industry in the whole world. Uh, we are also tying up with many film institutions across African countries. What is more important for us is to maintain association and connection with the leading filmmakers, leading uh, content creators. Once you establish a connect, you understand the value and utility of Canon products. And then the competitiveness goes to a different level. The, your thinking pattern changes. It's no more of price competitiveness. We talk about more of offerings and experiences. So Canon is more into value offering with its customers rather than based on you know pure price competitiveness. Some of the sustainability initiatives in addition to you know, today's launch of Canon Experience Center, I would like to say is the recent one where you know, our team went to one of you know, the communities in uh, Nairobi called as Mathare community. Now this community unfortunately is not known for the good reasons in life. You know that ch children in Mathare community are deprived of many basic amenities. And, uh, of you know needless to mention they don't have any livelihood as such and you know when you don't have education when you don't have you know livelihood then you know your thinking pattern is also different so canon you know approached this community and uh, we spotted you know some 10 students you know from this community we provided them with you know again photography lessons we trained them you know in life you know how to approach people how to you know click pictures how to edit the pictures how to you know showcase your work you know for future events and uh, i want to say that you know yesterday i had the opportunity to meet two of such students at uh, kca university and one of them was saying that if you ask my mother that what was i three years back and what am i today she will say that he is not my son or he is not the old son which i used to have three years back so again, now he's planning, you know, to open up a small company whereby, you know, he would uh, provide photography services to his clients, to his customers. So our sustainability initiatives are keeping in mind uh, our corporate philosophy of Kyose, which uh, stands for living and working together for the common good. So, of course, we are here in Africa, in Kenya to do business. 
but as a part of our corporate philosophy we also want to contribute to the betterment of the people in africa people in kenya in particular through our education incentives through our sustainability initiatives Besides partnering with Ishara Mara Camp, Canon has also joined hands with Copycat Group as authorized distributor to further augment its business to business printing solution offerings in the Kenyan market by operating closer to its customers and thus meeting their demands in the rapidly evolving market. Established in 1984, Copycat is the leading technology company in East Africa specializing in office automation and IT solutions and with its strong foothold in terms of technology in Kenya, it will further strengthen its portfolio by adding Canon's exceptional service offerings to customers. The two companies will play to each other's strength to establish a resilient printing ecosystem to meet unmet customer demands from various industry verticals across Kenya and East Africa. Copycat and Canon are coming together and brands are very, very important. A brand is a promise. The whole purpose of Canon and Copycat coming together is to strengthen the promise in that particular field, which is printing, imaging, digitization and solutions based around there. We were the first company to bring copiers with technical backup. Not that you buy a copier and then when it runs out of uh, toner, it runs out of, of, of need service, you need to change the machine. That is the gap that Copycat saw in 1980s that gave birth to the brand Copycat. And we sold copiers, we fixed them and we had tremendous success. Thereafter, we brought in many other products. We are known for banking equipment, note counting equipment, safe, some of the largest safe installations, strong room doors, strong rooms itself at KCB, at uh, most of the big banks have been done by us. We are also one of the largest system integrators in the region. What do I mean? We build data centers, we consult, we consult with clients like KCB, NCBA, Equity Bank, Ministry of Finance, uh, NTSA. We have developed solutions. We touch upon the business life of Kenyans. The promise Canon brings, $30 billion probably more of revenues annually, in excess of $2 billion of profit last year, over 185,000 employees, a worldwide brand. Copycat believes in long-term relationships. Most of our associations with brands has been for decades. So with Canon, we hope we are going to go a long way and bring to the Kenyan business and Kenyan people the solutions that are being offered very successfully abroad by Canon uh, locally here with technical expertise. You can see some of the Canon staff that are based here in Kenya carrying all the expertise. We touch on people's lives every day. We wanted to address these three gaps, that is to build our share in mid-high segment, to enter into verticals and to expand into cities not only in Nairobi but you know other parts of Kenya also. And in this respect, when our team started to do survey, we felt that you know copycat which is a very very well known brand a very very well known enterprise not only in kenya but you know also in the other parts of east africa we felt that if these two brands that is copycat which has the local presence which has the regional presence and this presence is now not about few years but it about decades if we two brands you know decide to enter into a partnership it would be beneficial for both the companies. It would also benefit, you know, Kenyan consumer as such, because then we would be able to, you know, execute and implement our strategies, our solutions and our offerings, you know, to Kenyan consumers, to Kenyan verticals, which will ensure efficiency in their operations.
in promoting the spirit of creativity and imagination, empowering people and educating minds, creating and supporting an extensive printing and digitization ecosystem in Kenya, Canon alongside its partners continue to bring state-of-the-art technology into the country, leveraging its extensive local knowledge and technical expertise to empower both men and women. Our partnership is usually a long-term one. So, particularly the Miraisha program, which stands for Providing Future Livelihood, was established in 2014 and today we are in 2022. It started with Kenya, but now it is spread across 10 other countries in Africa. So, I believe that, you know, today we have started our association, our partnership with Ishara Camp and it should once again last for a long period of time. We don't see this as a short-term project at all. We're very much here, we want to make an impact, we want to help the community to grow, we want to support the community. Uh, we'll be taking in both males and females. We'll be doing a big focus on the females. Um, we're hoping to at least train up in the first year, so 2022, which we're currently in, at least um, eight guides uh, with, with these rounded skills. So it's not that they're just going to come in for one or two lessons, we're actually going to work with them on a longer term period over several months so that they can really practice and honing their skills as well. So we'll look to bring in lots of different kids, not only here within um, Ishara camp, but we'll also be looking to take the training to the communities themselves. So we'll actually be going maybe into some of the, the surrounding towns and villages and actually taking the sessions to them. We have a variety of different trainers that can speak different languages. So we have English and we also have Swahili. Um, and then also for obviously Maasai, if we have any students which are dealing with Maasai, we're working very closely with the community. We have Pilot, we have Judy, they will be supporting us. And then hopefully in our longer term plans and goals is that we actually would be able to identify someone that could then go on to become a, a Canon trainer and could help and, su and support us to actually deliver in the training to the youth and to also to fellow guides. Because we very much want the knowledge to kind of be imparted to them, but then also for them to share the knowledge amongst themselves, amongst the community, and to be able to support each other to learn more about photography, videography, and how imagery can obviously make a huge impact. Because ultimately we want uh, the people living here in this land to be able to tell their own stories, because they ultimately have the most insight, the closest access, and who better to tell their stories than them themselves.